Hi guys, this is a video overview of the data acquisition boards for instrumentation that we use here at Test Electronics. This is the main board I'd like to focus on for this video. It's the Checkmate Multifunction Data Acquisition Module by Overton Instruments. Now this has analog input, analog output, and digital I.O. There's eight channels of analog input, eight channels of digital I.O., and one channel uh, analog output. Now it's a small unit, two and a half inches wide by two and three quarters long, which will make it fit really nicely in our smallest fixture. We use it a lot in this RAND fixture, and we also use it in large fixtures. I'll show you that a bit later, uh, because it's so easy to expand using other data acquisition boards, multiplexers and such. So the way it's mounted in these fixtures, in the smaller fixtures, is just like this. Uh, the USB port is here, mounted right directly out the back. So this can be controlled with USB. Uh, in a PC, I like to use lab view or lab windows, so you can create a front panel on your PC screen and uh, read the lights or flip switches virtually. So you don't have to add any hardware or anything. You just have this one board. Now the way this board is wired up is you have your test pin in the fixture and you use these little you can use these little cables or you can wire wrap or you can even use a uh, ribbon cable. So let's just go over the ribbon cable. A uh, ribbon cable will plug right into this shrouded header right here just like this and then you can wire this end up to your test pins. That's simple and straightforward. Another way is wire wrap. You can wire wrap directly to these pins but that's, we don't like to do that. We like to put in one of these connectors by 3M just like that and wire wrap to here. Then we can pull this out, keep our wiring in, and replace the board. So for example, you would plug it, plug it in for use in a fixture, you'd plug it in just like that, wire up to your test pins, which would be in here with wire wrap. And then when you wanted to remove the board, you could just unplug this connector and you remove your board. Another way to wire, a really quick way, is to, to use these wires which are, have female to female headers. You can buy these. These came from Allied Electronics. Um, just female to female short little wires. You put the, you plug one end in here in your connector. The other plug will plug right over the square post for wire wrap here. And then you can have your fixture wired up with these. And these come in all different lengths. You get them and you can, you can tear these off and then you can have a longer wire if you want. Or you can just plug the whole thing in and then wire out to, to your fixture and have a nice ribbon cable connection between your data acquisition board and your test pins. So there's a, a variety of ways to wire this out to your, your unit under test to your test pins here. And then another thing we want to do is get power into this to power up the unit under test. The most conventional technique is to use a red and black banana jack and connect it to a bench top power supply. Uh, you just mount this in the rear panel and, the, and then you can plug your power supply uh, right into that. And if you don't need that level of sophistication, you can just mount a barrel jack here and then plug in a, a wall warp module as power. It, this is all application specific, depends on what you need, what kind of precision you're talking about with the bench top power supply. You could be really precise and you could even control the voltage with the USB on your, your power supply. So however you want to do it, these, this rear panel is easily customizable. It's just one thin piece of aluminum comes off with two screws. I'll take it off just like that. Now you can drill holes in it and mount whatever else you want to mount and then just put it right back in. It's very easy to use. We like to design these fixtures so that they're easy to take apart and put together. For research and development, you're going to be wanting to do a lot of work on this fixture. And it's aluminum, so if you have a drill press or a scroll saw, you can 
cut almost any shape you need to in this back panel and mount whatever connectors you want on there. So that's how that works. Now let me go over a little bit of the specifications on this. Uh, the, there's two different ways to connect up to it, the screw terminal block or the shrouded header. Now they're, they're in parallel, so whatever's here is here. You, can, that you have either way. Um, the reason these are for analog, for instrumentation, is because they're so accurate. These have 12 bits of data for the analog input and 12 bits for the analog output, which is four times more accurate than the normal 10 bits uh, used for other kinds of boards. And the digital I.O. is switchable individually or as a byte, and it can be programmed to be either input or output, and each byte can be programmed separately. Now this can be controlled, as I showed you, with USB, but it can also be controlled... Oh, and with, with USB you could use um, Visual Basic, C++, Lab View, or Lab Windows, whatever you prefer to use, and whatever can just read characters in and out of serial basically will work to control this uh, with a computer using USB. You can, this can be, if this is taken out, then you can use uh, embedded systems such as a ARM processor, AVR, PIC, or stamp processor can control this using an embedded system so that you don't have to connect a PC. You can just run it in the fixture and the fixture itself can be the complete tester, no, no PC required. So that's how this board works. And let me show you how to connect this, how it's used in larger fixtures. This is the very basics, just using this one board for data acquisition. The checkmate. Now, for a larger fixture, here's a larger fixture. And we've got a bunch of stuff on the front panel, digital readouts. We've got a power supply in here, and a bunch of stuff, a fan and power inputs on the back. So basically, what you would do is you'd connect this checkmate up to the, up to the USB inside. There, there might be multiple USB devices, so you'd have a hub in here. Uh, this particular unit just has a cable that comes out to the, different, the larger, more rugged USB connector on the back. Uh, so you would just plug the, your USB in right here, then mount it in the fixture. I'm just going to mount it with one screw so I can show you quickly, so I don't, you don't have to watch me sit here watching me turning screws. But what I wanted to show you more closely was how, test, how easy it is to connect up test pins to this with the shrouded header. So here it is, checkmates mounted in, in this larger fixture. And so say I was going to connect up a few wires here. Let's get some colors. I, I'll get some yellow, white, and a, some good bright red ones. And a black fell out. So to connect up to the test pins, you simply connect the wire where you want it on the test pin and then connect it up to the proper pin on the header. That easy. You can take these side by side, see if I can do three at a time. You just stack them side by side, it all fits. Stick all three on the header like that and then route them over to the test pin you want to connect to. And it ends up looking something similar to this. So you can see a lot of these test pins are already wired and uh, just in the time it took to do this little video. It's that easy to wire this up and to use it. Now the other thing for larger uh, fixtures like this you might want to expand it out. So we have this thing a MuxMate, the multiplexer. This is a 16 relay multiplexer. They're, they have them up to 64 relays. Uh, we have more analog data acquisition, which has a whole bunch of channels there. And these come in different amounts of channels and more digital I.O. 
So whatever you need, we have all these instrumentation cards from Overton Instruments, uh, which are designed for test equipment. And the reason, even the MUX mate, the, the check mate is 12 bits, so that's instrumentation. The MUX mate uses these Omron relays, which are very uh, rugged and last a long time. A lot of switching operations, which is required in this. You don't want to use robotics boards when you have these instrumentation boards that are designed specifically for the instrumentation application. So that basically concludes the video of the, the checkmate and how it can be mounted in various fixtures. And I hope you found this video informative. If you'd like to see more videos like this, there are more available at testelectronics.com. Thanks for watching.